The uh, stories of our people are not being told correctly and it's not being shared, of course, with the younger people and they are being taught by uh, anthropologists' findings and research and that that has absolutely no references as far as getting the correct information from the people that knew these things. <laughs> Among our Diné, there are ways to talk about the subject of history. And it seems like every portion of the Diné nation, all of the different family clan groups and that, have a different way to refer to uh, the things that happened in the past. And they say such things as, uh, And then also they refer to our old people as, uh, Nihizaza. Nihizaza is what they say about the ancient people. And then they have the Nihichona, yeah. And those are probably more recent uh, people that we are descended of. But nonetheless, it is that the uh, teaching of uh, knowing our history is very important. And so there's history in your personal self, and the history of your family, the history of your clan, the history of your all of the Dene, and then there's history about your health, about the things you learned, and about the things that uh, you've experienced in life. And so there's a lot of history, and it has to be correct history. The problem that we have today is that so much information is being provided to our people that is not correct history. And uh, we can begin with the idea how the Dene came to this continent, and the story that most of our people seem to accept is that the idea that we came across the Bering Straits across the land bridge way back some thousands of years ago. History of our people is that they say they came from the east across the wide rivers and they separated themselves from a people that uh, were highly civilized and these people had a great civilization that they moved away from because of various disputes and the, uh, the Neh are said to be nomadic as they encountered people, they picked up various uh, things, ceremonials and uh, various teachings, and also that uh, they were never originally able to make baskets or to weave or to make anything of the things that they needed to survive, that it all was borrowed from other people. And those are the things that, are, that our children are being taught. Even the very name that we refer to ourselves, the Neh, our young people are being told that that means the people. The ne, de means up where there is no surface. Ne means down to the surface of Mother Earth. So we refer to ourselves as people or beings that came from a place that was that had no surface to the Earth, and that's what the word the ne means. And then we have another word when we refer to the humankind, badashtai, that means the five-fingered being. And so if you really examine the word the ne, all five-fingered beings are the ne. So all of the people of the world, of the earth, are people of the Neh. They came from a place where there was no surface to the surface of Mother Earth. And so the five-fingered being are really the Neh. So all people are the Neh. And, but the, we identify ourselves because there was one thing that they uh, continue to tell to this day. Is the Neniki, which means us that are the Neh. We understand where we came from and we understand why we are here and we understand where we are going after death. And so that separates us from so many other people and the beliefs that they have. And so it is that we find it very necessary to share correct information. The information about our people are contained in, in the various songs and prayers and ceremonies and various stories and that from the past. And when the Neh talk about the uh, experience of the history of our people, they always focus on the cause what caused this particular event to happen? What was the cause? The uh, stories of our people are not being told correctly. And it's not being shared, of course, with the younger people. And they are being taught by uh, anthropologists' findings and research and that that has absolutely no references as far as getting the correct information from the people that knew these things. There is not one story in our oral history and the stories of the old people that say that we came from the north. And there's not one story that says that we are referring to ourselves as this people. We were 
willing to find the, uh, the correct information and we believe that we have the correct information because we have acquired it from the, the elders and our old people and the things that they have told us. And so it's important to our younger people in that to understand that they have a great history and that they were not nomadic and that they did not borrow things. They received ideas from other people, but the, the net always improved, it greatly improved anything that they were able to learn from other people. And they focused on the idea of making things much better, much more useful. And so the, the net have a great place in the, the history of the people in the Southwest. And it continues to this day. And so the correct history has to be learned by our young people. And they don't need to ever be fearful of knowing the truth. And the truth is so much better than what is being taught to them in the school and how they are parroting that information back to even the younger generation. So history is very important to everyone. Your personal history, your family history, and it's your identity. We have a responsibility to know our history and that we learn from history. It's so very important to understand when we teach it in the traditional way, what caused this thing to happen? We focus on the cause. What caused this to happen? And when it happened, it brought this about. And so the, coming from the uh, direction east, it was the cause was that there was disagreement within the greater group of people. And that disagreement caused us, the Dene to separate themselves from that group of people and to move west and to come all the way across the uh, continent of the North America from the east to the west. And then from there, we also learn that our people at various times, some separated themselves and some went to the, uh, returned back to the east, some went to the south, some went to the west, and some went to the north and were never heard from again. But there was also uh, stories about changing woman, about her launching a boat with a group of people and they sailed out into the big water, Twinscale was what they call it, to the west. But after four days, she said, I have forgotten one thing, we must return. And so she gave us seven ceremonies. And these are the seven ceremonies are called Wizjorja, or the Beauty Way ceremonies. And then she left. The little children that she took with her returned when they were very elderly. And they told about the exploding mountains out on the waters and about the lands that were floating out in the, in the big waters. And they told about land areas where there were mountains, chains of mountains that went into the horizon. And those are the actual stories in that, the history of our people that is not very well understood. And there's so much more to the way that our elders tell the stories. And they are there, the very essence of all of the reasons why the people went from here and went in those directions. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah, that's how